Hello, my name is Anna Oberkirker, and I'll be talking about desire lines. So, have you ever been walking a paved path through a park and came across an unpaved shortcut? The shortcut was clearly not designed by the developers of the park, but it's clearly a route people before you have taken. And it's clearly a quicker way to get from point A to point B. Now, do you take the unpaved path? The path has been made over time as more and more people choose to walk the straight line as opposed to walking the paved path around it. The path is a perfect uh, example of desired lines. Now, it's important to remember, don't fight desired lines. Learn to embrace them. They are the path people chose to take as opposed to the path designers want or expect them to take. It doesn't matter how beautiful you design the landscape. If you fail to provide a convenient way from point A to point B, people are going to carve a shortcut. Now, what can we do to determine desired lines on your site? First, there is insight search. This is probably the best part um, to understand your audience. When people type something into a search engine, they are telling you what they want and what they desire. Then there are heat maps. Show you where people click most frequently on your page, and this helps with seeing what parts of your page are most attractive and most interactive. Then there are click paths. Sh these show how people travel through your site, and the best part about is that you can actually see the paths people use when interacting. Then there is tagging. If you let users tag content on your site, you allow them to tell you what, um, tell you how to, they classify your information. You allow them to speak in their own words and to teach you their vocabulary. Th oops, sorry. Then there are ratings, which are star ratings or comments on your content, or the measuring of how well your content fares on social sites. Uh, these allow you to know what your audience does prefer. So keep in mind, that the desire of one or two individuals is not a desire line, or at least not a strong desire line. It takes more than a couple of people to carve a path through a field. It is in your best interest to understand the desire lines of your audience, learn how they currently use your site, and what they wish your site could be. Collect information and let strong desire lines emerge. And that's my presentation.